The advanced reactor race is heating up and each and every developer promises that their reactor will change everything. Founded in 2009, X Energy claims it's impossible for their XE100 reactor to fail as it physically cannot melt down. Instead of traditional fuel rods, the XE100 uses about 220,000 tennis ball sized spheres called pebbles, which are loaded into the reactor like a giant gumball machine. Each pebble contains 18,000 microscopic triso fuel particles, where each part Particle has a uranium center wrapped in three layers of carbon and ceramic coating. It's kind of like a nuclear gobstopper. The triso coating creates an airtight seal around the uranium that can withstand temperatures above 1,600 degrees Celsius without melting, and the DOE calls it the most robust nuclear fuel on the planet. That's high praise. To generate electricity, helium gas flows through the pebble bed to extract heat at temperatures hot enough to run industrial processes directly. The pebbles cycle through the core over three years and fresh pebbles are added in at the top while old ones come out the bottom and the spent fuel is stored in good old dry casks. Each XE100 unit produces 80 megawatts of electricity, but they're designed to work in four packs for 320 megawatts total. One of their selling points is that the reactor can ramp up or down between 40% and full power in just 12 minutes, making it perfect for grids with lots of renewable energy. In October of 2020, they were selected for the DOB's Advanced Reactor Demonstration program, and in March 2025, they submitted a construction permit application to the NRC, hoping to build it at Dow Chemical Seadrift Site on the Texas Gulf Coast. High temperature heat is critical for many industrial processes at chemical plants, making the XC100 a perfect fit. But they're not only building reactors, they're also building the U.S. fuel supply chain, which is currently very reliant on uranium from other countries. X Energy is constructing the first commercial triso fuel fabrication facility in the U.S. in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and this will produce enough fuel for up to 12 of its reactors annually. If all goes according to plan, the Seadrift site will be the first manufacturing facility in the world powered entirely by clean nuclear energy. The company originally shot for a 2029 deployment, but recently that seems to have shifted to early 2030s. Will they be first? I guess we'll find out.